In this screencast I'll show you how to use the Excel unit operation in Pro 2. So to add the Excel unit you need to come over to the PFD panel and scroll down. Once you get to the user added tab click on this tab and then click on the Excel unit and there you have an Excel unit operation on your flow sheet. We then need to connect up some streams. For this example we'll have one input and one output. We'll also then specify some data for the inlet stream. So we'll specify 100 k moles per hour of carbon monoxide, 100 k moles per hour of hydrogen. Click OK there. Temperature will set to 500 Kelvin, pressure will set to 10,000 kPa. OK. Now for the unit operation itself, the Excel unit, we need to link this to a spreadsheet that's going to do the calculations for us. So we click here and we're going to click on this Fisher Trops spreadsheet. Click OK to that. And then if we click Edit, it will take us into the spreadsheet and we can have a look at what is here. So there are different bits and pieces that we can look at. All of the turquoise cells are for inlet streams and we can have up to five inlet streams and the sandy coloured cells are for the outlet streams and we can have up to five outlet streams as well. Now the top half of this is for properties of each stream and the bottom half down here are for individual component flow rates. Now the temperature of the outlet stream is set to equal the temperature of the inlet stream. The pressure of the outlet stream is set to equal the pressures of the inlet streams. And the enthalpy is set to equal the enthalpy of the inlet streams. Now what we're going to do is we're going to delete that formula so that Pro 2 will perform a flash calculation and work out the enthalpy of the outlet stream and that allows the unit to operate isothermally so the outlet stream is going to equal the temperature of the inlet stream and we'll get isothermal operation. In the simulation that we're looking at at the moment we've got 34 components so we need to make sure we've got enough of those and at the moment the outlet component flow rate is simply the sum of the inlet component flow rates. So we just need to make sure that continues all the way down for all of our components. And it's at the moment the molar flow rate for the streams are set to equal the inlet molar flow rates. Now if we have some sort of reaction happening the molar flow rates may change depending on the stoichiometry of the reaction so it's actually preferable to set this to be the sum of these individual components down here. Press enter, click OK and we've now set up the basic template spreadsheet to read information in from Pro2 into this column and then read information back out and we can do some simple calculations at the moment we're basically going to let the outlet stream equal the inlet stream. So we can save this, close it and we're back to Pro 2. We'll also click to save the Excel file after the calculations and the sheet where this is going to be all the information is being inputted and outputted is Sheet 1. So we click OK there as well and this is now ready to run click run the flow sheet the simulation has solved and if we look at the data review window we can see that the temperature and pressure are the same as those that we set for the inlet the flow rate is also the same because we had 100 k moles per hour of CO and H2 so we've got 50% of each of those 0.5 more fraction for each and a total of 200 k moles per hour.
because we had a hundred for each. Now if we click back on the unit and click data entry we can go back to the spreadsheet click edit and we see that these columns have been updated with the relevant information for the inlet stream and then also for the outlet stream. Okay so overall that is a basic introduction to using the Excel unit operation in Pro 2.